the best holiday it's unplanned just pack book the airfare and go we're off to melbourne it's the easter long weekend let's tour around melbourne where to stay what to do where to find this juicy burger and where is this beautiful heaven watch this video to the end to find out we didn't plan this trip it's a last minute idea and we booked the flight from sydney to melbourne and we're going to spend the easter long weekend here in melbourne there are so many hotels in melbourne cbd we booked this Grand Hyatt, a five-star hotel in Collins Street. It's a 10 minutes walk to Melbourne Chinatown and five minutes walk to Federation Square. Ah, oh, that's beautiful cake. Is it for me? Oh, no. <laughs> the hotel looks poshy and it has 550 rooms. We are staying at level 25. Wow, well, the view is very nice. Look at this. The room is not very big, but it's uh, very bright. Got this huge glass window. Look at that, it's got a bit of river view. The room color looks a bit old and outdated, but the bathroom is spacious and the marble stone looks very nice. Isn't it funny? You know, Sydney people would like to come down to Melbourne and Melbourne people maybe would like to go to Brisbane or Sydney. Next to the Grand High Hotel is the famous Flinders Lane. In here, you can find many restaurants and bars. We decided to have our dinner at this restaurant Mipo and Wine Bar. It's not because I like Mipo's, but because the atmosphere looks good and it has a good vibe here. So we decided to come to this Italian restaurant the Mipo in the Flinder Lane. I decided to have a risotto, Chinese, come with the other rice. One roasted potatoes. Whiskey or... Yeah, or you want whiskey on the rocks or? No rocks, Nick, please. It's very busy here, so I guess people love their balls. Hey, I'm talking about meat balls. Looks very nice. It smells very good. Yum. No, they are these very famous balls. Tastes very, very nice. Do you know what I worry about now? After dinner, they may ask me, Do you like my balls? Do you like my balls? I don't like it. I love it. We're going to the Crown Casino. Have a look. Melbourne Crown Casino is the largest casino in Southern Hemisphere. Whether you like gambling or not, it's a great night out. The long weekend, everything is uh, closed. I think that's the only place that you can have a bit of uh, fun, which is the casino. The buffet breakfast at Grand High is very nice. But it costs $50 per person if your booking does not include breakfast. Did you have a good sleep last night? My sleep was okay. The only disappointing part was the pillow. The pillow? Oh, what? terrible. It's like so low, like couldn't even balance my neck. Can use some water? It's a very nice uh, atmosphere. I like that, you know, the ambient light here. This shopping center is huge. It's massive. Nice. The car park is the worst. Yes, it takes a long time to find even minutes. car park. 45 minutes? Yeah, more than that. Chaston Shopping Centre is the biggest shopping centre in Australia. It's a fashion capital. So bring your fat wallet or ask your rich uncle for some small changes. Unfortunately, her uncle is not very rich. So we have to use our own skinny wallet. Melbourne Chinatown is the second oldest Chinatown in the world. Well, there's a lot more choices in Chinatown. There's a lot of different cuisines, different restaurants, but they all looks like in a very busy, got lots of lines a lot of outside, a lot of queues. We found this nice looking Chinese restaurant called Crystal Jade in Little Burke Street. We'd like to try it out. The restaurant looks bright and nice and the wine and seafood collections are very impressive. Chinese jasmine tea. Cheers. Tastes very nice. Look at the dishes. They are presented well, look clean, and taste very nice. And the service is good too. So if you are visiting Melbourne, you should try this one out. Why do you go to McDonald's when you have these beautiful dishes like this? Ooh. Something over there really got me curious. Look at the line. What are they waiting for? The shop Loon is right opposite the Grand High Hotel. Apparently, it sells the best croissant in the world. So I want to cure the curiosity and go line up and buy some croissant. 
Oh, uh, I normally get the chocolate. 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 chocolate, yeah, I love the chocolate. And you, you've been here before? I've been here yesterday and I made a mistake of being here at half past eight. Only got here at ten o'clock. Wow, so one and a half minutes, two hours. Yeah, so I come early. Shop opens at 7.30. I've been waiting for the last uh, 20 minutes. Hey, good morning, how are you? I'm great. Very good, very good. Queen of Arms. Yep. Hungry and in the oven. Actually, I'm going to get you know, two boxes. One box yep. is just uh, the plain traditional. So just six traditionals. Yep. yep. And then uh, can I have uh, another box which is uh, two traditionals, uh, one chocolate. That's two boxes already, yeah? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Uh, 74, 60, thank you. Yep. Everything is made in the house. After it's about half an hour's wait, and uh, finally I got mine. They say the food tastes better when you're naked. But will I pay another $74 for the croissant? I don't think so. The road in Victoria is so beautiful. Even out of the city for more than half an hour now, it's still got the freeway, you know, going to the Geelong and going to the Great Ocean Road. We're off to Strawberry Farm. Hopefully they're open. It's Sunday. Have you done strawberry picking before? I have never done it, so I don't know what's it like. Let's go and find out together. Pick the strawberry yourself. Adult is uh, about seven dollars. Children three dollars. Or family is for eighteen dollars. Do you want to yeah. pick your own strawberries? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Thank you. Look at this. The field is massive, and to my surprise, strawberries are not grown on the tree as I always that, thought. Uh, what's it for seven dollars? This is twelve dollars. What? This box is twelve dollars. I thought for it was seven dollars. You know, for a kilo. Oh, for, for a kilo. kilo. Oh, okay. For oh, you kilo. pay for a kilo. I had a couple of sneaky ones in my mouth. Don't tell anyone. You are stealing. That's called stealing. It's not stealing if you're trying. Strawberry picking, it's not about strawberry. Rather, it's an experience and you can't get any fresher than this. Pick up in the big boxes. Yeah, half of them in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> so you're eating and picking at the same time? Well, they say you got to try before you buy. I was oh. just making sure if it's sweet enough. Oh wow, you tried a lot then, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put some over here. She's not only she picking, she also up. eating too. She ate on a lot. The scales for me. Jump you, on the scales. You, you know what? She, I took a mental note as you walked in. Uh, there she, you go. She, did, she didn't even have a breakfast this morning that. just I to come in and eat. She's complaining that it's more expensive than cows. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> to go anyway, very, nice. very good, very nice. It's a beautiful activity. Very nice. It's not about the strawberry, you know. It's How much is it? Seven dollars. You month? cannot compare this to coal. This is amazing. No, I thought it cost. This is some. very juicy, by the way. When you were stealing, I don't some. think it's going to cost me seven bucks in this box, guys. Um, yes, it is. Nowadays, it is. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Next time, if you come to you know uh, Melbourne, drive for about say forty minutes along the M1, you know, past Geelong, there is um strawberry if you didn't come to pick the strawberry yourself one thing you must do when you are in melbourne is to go for a drive along the great ocean road it is 240 kilometers long it has beautiful ocean scenic view along the victoria coastline and is one of the top tourist attractions in victoria today we're driving down to the coast of the town called lawn it's a two hours drive from melbourne city when you are driving along the Great Ocean Road, it's the moment that you can sense and feel the greatness of our country and also appreciate the people who have sacrificed and helped build this wonderful road. After you know, one and a half hour drive from Melbourne, we're finally here. We're going to take you guys to Teddy's Lookout. There's going to be a very nice cinematic view and I want you guys to enjoy the view with us. Welcome to Teddy's Lookout. We sometimes come out from the countryside like this. Um, it is very refreshing actually. Very therapeutic. Very therapeutic, you know. So English. <laughs> yeah, therapeutic. Therapeutic. <laughs> oh, what well, doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Teddy's Lookout is only five minutes short drive to the top of the hill at the back of the lawn. It gives this amazing breathtaking views to the mountain range and the Pacific Ocean. If you come down to the lawn, 
you must visit this look up. Look at the view over here. After Teddy's lookout, we are hungry and can't wait to go back to Lawn for lunch. You should check out this burger shop called the Bottle of Milk at Lawn. After three hours drive, it's getting hungry. Starving. Apparently, it's a very famous uh, burger shop here. Bottle of Milk. So, is it normally busy here? Yes. Wow, that looks That's very nice. yummy and nice. Thank you very much. What did you have? I got Bingo Bango. What's that, chicken? chicken? Grilled chicken. Nice. Look at the burger. Juicy. So juicy, so beautiful. It's worth the drive from Melbourne down here in the lawn. How's the food? Amazing. As you can tell, there's not even one little bit of the burger left. However, it is $21, a little bit pricey, but it's very fresh and very juicy. So overall, I think it's worth it. We had a great time in Melbourne and I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as we did. Please feel free to follow my channel and hopefully this channel sends you some good vibes and make your days better. Until next time, thank you for watching.